Hello, hello, good evening. How are you, Milton? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? How was your day? In the bad. It's only, yeah. only work, but uh, uh, a little tired. You are a little tired today. How about you? About me, uh, well, it was a pretty nice day, to be honest with you. Um, it's been, well, it's what, not hot, not cold. Um, so I think it was a good weather today. Um, my job, to be honest with you, my secondary job is a kind of repetitive. So sometimes I tend to do the same, right? Um, every day is the same. There is not too many variations on it, but so far so good, to be honest. We are alive, we can breathe, family is good. So I think uh, there is nothing else that we can ask for, right? Yeah. Nothing, nothing special. Nothing special, right? Yes, nothing in special. Yes. Probably, probably uh, on weekend. On the weekends, um, no. Being honest with you, on the weekends, I don't do, do too much. Do you have plans? If I have plans, not really. I'm interested to learn how to swim, so probably I will go to and I will enroll into a course so I can learn how to swim, right? Um, okay. I can't, yes, and I would like to, but that's the only plan that I have for the weekend. In reality, I don't do too much. I prefer to stay at home, so. Really? To take, to take a rest at home? Yes, yeah, I prefer to stay at home, yeah. Only, so. uh, uh, how do you say official domestic? Oh, the house chores. The house chores, yes. House chores, ah, okay. Yes, the house chores. Yes, um, yes, I do it, but what happened is that I do live alone, right? So basically in my house, I don't have too many electrodomestics or something that I need to take really care of, right? Like in my parents' house, right? That they have the living room, they got the the dining room, the kitchen, and they got the, the rooms, right, and everything. I think that in my parents' house, there's more to do than in my house, because in my house, I just only got my bed, uh, the computer that I use for the work, for job, I'm sorry, uh, the room where I have the shoes and clothes and so many other things, and that's it. And I have just a small kitchen, uh, just a small refrigerator, which is not a refrigerator, it's something like a tiny, and that's it. That's uh, the only thing that I have, right? Um, basically what I take care about it is just only of the, the, the bathroom, right? So in the bathroom, well, in the toilet room, basically you need to clean it up every day. So not every day, but every eight days, it's, it's possible. So that's why. So I don't feel that I do too, too much uh, house chores um, in my house than in my parents' house. When I got to my parents' house, I helped them to do the cleaning and everything. I don't know why, but I feel that they got lots of things there, right? It's okay. crazy. It's yeah. good. Do you, do you like go to, to the movie? If I like go to the movie theater, yes, I love to go into the movie theater, but I love to go in the mornings. So uh, it's better for me. I mean, I, I don't like to be where if there's a lot of people, right? And in the afternoon, there's a lot of people. It's not because of the pandemic. I've always been like that. I don't like to be surrounded by so many people, right? So I am like, um, like a better state alone, right? It's, it's weird because I love to, to teach, right? And sometimes you got large groups, but it's not the same when you, when, you go to, when you go to the movies. So when I go to the movies, I prefer that everything can be just empty, right? Basically just me in the, in the room, right? There, yeah. Okay. What kind, what kind do you like? What kind do you like? Do you like what kind of movies do I like? I love uh, horror movies. Those ones are the lights that I enjoy the most. Horror movies. Ah, okay. The horror ones. Yeah. Okay. It's yeah. good, teacher. Yes, it's good it is. For you. Yes, it is. It's really nice, right? 
So thank you very much for being talking to me, Milton. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Thank you. So let's get started with the class, right? Um, today is uh, the last class of the week, right? Not the module, but the last class of the week. Remember that the next coming week, we are gonna have one day off between the days that is going to be Wednesday the 15th, which is the Independence Day, right? Es, eh, el día de hoy es la última clase ¿verdad? de la semana, no del módulo. Eh, recuerden que la otra semana vamos a tener un día ¿verdad? de descanso entre ellas, que va a ser el día 15 de septiembre. ¿verdad? Ese día 15 de septiembre pues, eh, es el día que nosotros vamos a descansar por ser la independencia y nos vamos a ver hasta el jueves 16. El día lunes 20 de septiembre vamos a tener el examen final, ¿verdad? O vamos a explorar el examen final y de igual manera si ustedes tienen alguna pregunta, duda o consulta concerniente a los temas anteriores, pueden hacerla saber, ¿verdad? Porque sé que vamos a terminar el examen un poco rápido. Así que... Les voy a solicitar que para esta semana, si son tan amables, ¿verdad? Puedan terminar la sesión número 4, que sería lo, lo indicado, para que el día lunes ustedes puedan iniciar su sesión número 5, ¿verdad? Eso sería lo ideal. Y si todavía no han avanzado mucho, ¿verdad? Que avancen lo más que puedan. I don't know if you have any question before that we get started or everything is fine. ¿Tienen alguna Teacher. pregunta? Diga. Teacher, eh... Uh, por, I have a problem in the in the in the Finnish exam in number two to answer to answer a uh, can can send it the the problem tomorrow tomorrow oh yes if you want to we can uh, watch it at the moment if you remember the the number from the the exercise. In the, yeah, the, the, in this moment, I don't I don't remember, but you don't only, remember. only two 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 point two two question is the okay. is mm, como rompecabezas de armar la la oración. Eso oh. solo en dos me he quedado me he, he trabado. El es uh, and scramble the sentences, right? I can yeah. I can arreglar las oraciones. Okay, okay. yes. Um, send it tomorrow, right? If you don't have it at the moment, send it tomorrow or uh, through the WhatsApp group or we will study on Monday as well. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. So if you had finished, right, the virtual platform, that's wonderful, right? There is not any problem. If you have already finished the virtual platform, don't worry, right? Uh, this is just only for the ones that had an advance really fast. So uh, that's why I was giving the advice only. But if you have already finished it, that's wonderful. There is not any problem. So let's see. Uh, today we are going to be studying. Uh, uh, well, I'm sorry. I don't know if you have any other question or any other comment. Someone else. Mm -hmm. Is there someone else? Mm. No. No. All right. So if there is no one else, uh, we are going to continue. Just allow me one second. I'm going to. Teacher, another, another, another partner. Who? Who? Which partner? Who? Quién? ¿Cuál pareja? I'm sorry. No, uh, con compañeros. How do you say? Oh, my classmates. In this case, they are going to be your classmates. Yes, yeah, the another classmate. <laughs> uh, where is? Where are, where, where are? What exactly do you want to say, Milton? Eh, no, ¿dónde están los demás compañeros? I don't no know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what happened. Uh, we are just only six, right? At the moment, you are just only six. Ahorita ustedes solamente son seis. Conmigo son siete. Entonces, ah, okay. I don't know where they are. Uh, <laughs> There is traffic. Okay. Ah, so there is traffic. Ah, Mike. No te quería reportar, Mike. <laughs> ah. 
<laughs> yes, there's traffic. I didn't Hi. know that there is traffic. You know what? I've been I haven't been in traffic for one year. I've been working from home since one year ago. So I am happy <laughs> to be at home, working at home because um the, the traffic is something. Uh, I where, where where do you live? I live in Lourdes. You may imagine Ooh, the traffic, right? It's, it's terribly ter terrible. Yes. Terrible, terrible traffic. Yes, it do is. you travel to uh, Lourdes to... I used to try, I used to commute from Lourdes to Santa Tecla. So ah. it was, <laughs> yes, it was a hard, it's a hard time, yes. Yeah. But anyways, right, I'm, I'm from home and I'm happy to be at home. <laughs> yes. okay. So let's see. Um, we are going to be studying today, right, the um, actors, um, the sequency adverse, that's the name that we have. They are not adverse at frequency, right? They are sequency adverse. We are going to listen here. Uh, I hope that you remember how to cook, right? Or how to get something really nice. You are going to be listening uh, how to cook uh, the sandwiches, right? Some sandwiches here. <laughs> they are going to be peanut butter sandwiches and bananas. I'm going to place the audio for you. Please pay close attention. What is going first? What do you do next? And so on, right? So I'm going to share the audio for you. But just one second. Give me one second. And... Uh, Please let me know if you will be able to listen it. Let's see. Page 25, part A. Can you listen, listen to this recipe for Elvis Presley's favorite? Yes? Yes, teacher. All right. So you're going to be listening a recipe for someone really famous or what was his favorite food, right? So pay close attention to the details. And I'm going to do this. Right. I would like you that can pay a special attention to the details to the first chance of the audio. Then I'm going to start sharing all over again my presentation and you will be able to read what the audio is saying. ¿Qué vamos a hacer primero? Les voy a hacer que pongan atención, ¿verdad? A lo que es el audio. Solamente que lo escuchen que tomen palabras clave si ustedes así lo desean y luego en la segunda ronda del audio les voy a poner lo que es la presentación de nueva cuenta ¿verdad? así que let's pay close attention okay I don't listen to what happened, I'm sorry. ¿Qué sucedió? I don't listen. Who? Who doesn't listen? You, Miguel. No. Or Milton. Mike. 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 Okay, Mike. Uh you don't listen it because of the audio or you don't listen in um, if, because if there is an interference or the audio is the audio. the audio, okay. Let me check. Um, but I have it in the 100%. Hmm, that's weird. That's weird. My audio is in the 100% and as well for the one that I have here, it's in the 100%. Okay, so I think uh, that we are not gonna be able to do it in that way because if you're not able to listen in well, I don't know what is happening, right? I don't know if it is the recording or in my computer. I'm afraid that it's just the recording, right? Because my computer has the 100% up and as well, the media player has the 100% up. So I'm gonna share the presentation with you so you can listen it, right? So let's see, uh, this is what you are gonna have, right? This is the audio regarding to, to this part, right? So let's uh, try to read it 
pay attention and I hope that you are able to hear it well at this time. Let's see. Page 25, exercise 9, Perspectives. Family Cookbook, Part A. Listen to this recipe for Elvis Presley's favorite sandwich. Do you think this is a healthy snack? Peanut butter and banana. Three tablespoons peanut butter. One banana, mashed. Two slices of bread. Two tablespoons butter, melted. First, mix the peanut butter and mashed banana together. Then, lightly toast the slices of bread. Next, spread the peanut butter and banana mixture on the toast. After that, close the sandwich and put it in a pan with melted butter. Finally, fry the bread until it's brown on both sides. Okay. Let's see. Would you like to listen it once again? Yes. Yes, once again. Okay, sure. Let's listen it once again. Page go. 25, Exercise 9, Perspectives, <clears throat> Family Cookbook, Part A. Listen to this recipe for Elvis Presley's favorite sandwich. Do you think this is a healthy snack? Peanut butter and banana. Three tablespoons peanut butter. One banana, mashed. Two slices of bread. Two tablespoons butter, melted. First, mix the peanut butter and mashed banana together. Then, lightly toast the slices of bread. Next, spread the peanut butter and banana mixture on the toast. After that, close the sandwich and put it in a pan with melted butter. Finally, fry the bread until it's brown on both sides. Okay, so let's see. She asked the question uh, at the very beginning of the audio, right? She asked the question. She asked Teacher. if the... Yes, tell me. Teacher, I have a question. Go uh, ahead. In description, uh, have their dad gloss uh, the sandwich and put in a pan. How do you say bread? Is pan? Pan. Oh no, uh, it says that after that, close the sandwich, right? Close means doing this. Close the sandwich and put it into a pan. The pan is, in this case, la sartén, right? Oh. The pan is la sartén, sí. Oh, it's, it's confusion. Excuse me. Yes, it's okay, not a problem. So let's see, uh, before that, I ask you the questions, right? Do you have any questions regarding to the vocabulary? I can give you a couple of seconds so you can scan the reading once again. And if you have any question regarding to the vocabulary, please let me know. Go ahead. The vocabulary teacher, tablespoon. Tablespoon. Cucharada. Es lo que nosotros le llamamos la cucharada sopera, ¿verdad? Okay. Sí. La cucharada sopera. Someone else? Mm. Melted butter. Melted butter. It's uh, what we do with the. Uh, cuando nosotros ponemos una cacerola a la, a, la, a, la, a la hornilla y usted le pone una. Le pone un poquito de margarina, ¿verdad? Por decirlo así. ¿Qué le pasa a la margarina? Derretir. Se derrite, exactamente. Uh -huh. Pero este butter. Este butter no es margarina, that es mantequilla. Es mantequilla, okay. Mm -hmm. Entonces, melto es, es derretir. Derretir, exactamente, sí. Okay. Mm -hmm. Peanut, teacher, peanut, peanut, peanut butter. Peanut, peanut, peanut butter. Peanut. Peanut. Este peanut es la mantequilla de maní. Ah, uh, ok. Peanut butter. Peanut, peanut butter. butter. Peanut, peanut butter. butter. Ok. Yes. The peanut butter. Uh -huh. Another question? Lightly is ligero. Uh, then lightly toast. Sí, eh, que hay que tostar ligeramente, ¿verdad? Ni muy... Bueno, las tostadas ustedes saben. Um, have you seen bimbo tostadas? Or have you mm -hmm. tasted them? 
Sí, yes. right. esas, esas literalmente son las tostadas. Y lo mismo hace este, esta situación. Si usted le hace slightly, es como que solo las calienta, ¿verdad? Todavía queda suavecito el pan. Uh -huh. Ok. Yes. All right. Someone else? For the moment, only teacher. Only that. Okay. So at the very beginning, right, she was asking a question, right? She was asking a question. Do you think that this snack is healthy? What do you think in your opinion? Do you think that the snack or this recipe, right, as a snack is healthy? What do you think? Beers. Then mm -hmm. next after. What do you five. think? Is this not healthy? No? Yes, no? What is your opinion? Uh -huh. ¿Qué piensan ustedes? ¿Es esto saludable? ¿No lo es? What is your opinion? No saludable. No? No. Not healthy? Because, or... because I have yeah, to do my head. Is yeah. very good. The peanut butter. Because it has the peanut butter, uh, it has uh, butter. Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah, if you want to get a booster, right, of energy, you can take it, right? <laughs> if you want to get a booster of energy, you might take it. I have done it, this type of uh, sandwich, but um, not like this. I put in one slice of bread, just a jelly bean, and the other one, you got the peanut butter, and you put some bananas, not as much bananas, right? Just uh, cut into a slice the banana, and I place Oreo cookies inside of it. So I have done it like this, but it's whenever you want to have a bus of energy, right? Si usted quiere tener, ¿verdad? Como que un empujón de energía y no tomarse alguno de esos bebidas de las personas energizantes, uno de estos se puede hacer. Yo me he hecho, pero han sido de diferente manera. Son de, de lo que es este, la jalea, jalea de, de fresa, de lo que es la mantequilla de maní, la banana, pero no, ¿verdad? No hecha puré sino que literalmente las slices de banana y de paso le he puesto galleta Oreo. Entonces, oh. <laughs> you might imagine, right? <laughs> Just wake up. Yes, yeah, it's something to wake friend. up. Yes. Oreo. Yeah, with the Oreo. So, son para levantarse, ¿verdad? So, yeah. I think uh, it's not... It, it, that... But this is natural for, for the chemic. The all energy sense damage the heart. Yes, uh, exactly. A so I think monster. Yes, all of them. So the, if you want to get a lot of energy, right, you might take one of these uh, type of snacks, right? Because they are for that. They are just to make you go up, right? Teacher, teacher but yes. it depends is you uh, to make the exercise uh, all day is you you can you can eat. Uh, this this food in I think no no problem. Yes, uh, I mean right. You can do it uh, not at night, right? When you go to sleep, you can do it in the morning, right? So in the morning, prior you're going work, uh, you can eat one of these ones. So you can stay really well, right? Between eight a.m. and eleven a.m., right? So at eleven a.m., you might take a fruit, right? And then that you can go to your lunch and so on. So this one is just something uh, to not having empty your stomach, right? When you got your stomach empty, you might got a lot of problems, right? Health problems if you got your stomach empty. So basically, uh, this one I think is not a snack to take it in the afternoon or at night. It's just something that you can do in the middle of the morning, right? If you want to, if you are working and you don't feel like a kind of energized, you can take something like this. I think, right? In my opinion. You might take something like this, right? 
So let's see, uh, let's continue then, right? So we are gonna continue and let's verify. Here it says that in the letter B, right, that we are going to place uh, the recipe in order, right? The pictures that we have here, right? What do you think? The picture number one, we got the bread in the picture number two. Here, this one, right? We have the pan in the bread. Here they are placing everything in the bread. Uh, here they are preparing everything and here they are just cooking the bread. Which one it will be the very first one? Which one do you think? In this one's right one two yeah. three four which one yeah. it will be the number four yeah. which one it is the number one out of the five pictures that we have there number one number two number three number four number five or one number three number Here's three the, you think put the, put the butter in the bread that one is number one According yes. to the recipe. Then next. After okay. Final. De acuerdo a la, a la receta, ¿cuál de las cinco es la número uno? Tips. Four. Which one? Four. Yes. Good job, right? This one yes. is the number one, right? Good job. So then. What it will be the next one? Then it says. The liquid toast with rice and bread. The bread. Okay, number where three? are they toasting the bread? The bread, I'm sorry. No, no, number, number one. one. Number one, right? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh, eso no quiere pasar. Let's see. So let's place it here and we are gonna put, hmm, it's playing with my feelings, my computer today. Okay. Let's see if I can place number two. There we go, right? Number two. What about the number three? Next. Number three. Number three. Number three, right? There we go, number three. And then what about the number four? After that. Uh, number five. Number five, right? Mm -hmm. Put okay. In, in a pan. Yes. And then, that's and then number two. And then number two, which is gonna be the number five, right? There we go. Until it both sides are brown, right? Good job. There we go. Is there any question regarding to this part? Do you have any question? I don't make this sandwich. <laughs> you won't do it. <laughs> All right. You won't like to do that sandwich, okay? All right. What about the rest of you? Questions, no? Questions, no questions? Mm -hmm. Do you have any questions? Or no I questions. No I questions today. No? All right. So if there are no questions, let's see, right? Uh, these ones are the sequency adverbs, right? As the word says, they are adverbs and we use them to follow a sequence. The very first one is uh, first, right? As the word says, first, first, then we got then, then, this one is next. Next, after Next. that, after, after that, after that, after that, and, that's good job. And this one is finally, right? Finally, finally, yes, finally. So since they are adverse, right? After each of them, we are gonna have a coma. In after the coma, you are gonna have the verb, right? with the verb that you want to start the procedure or something that you would like to say, right? Let's remember that these ones, they follow the order, right? So there will be, first of all, you need to do this and after that, this and so on, right? So after this, let's remember, you are gonna have a verb. And the verb, how is this going to be? The verb is going to be into the 
infinity form or the basic the base form of the verb right you are not going to change it so that it will be the sequence adverse que son los uh verdad esos son los uh, adverbios de secuencia se llaman así tal cual verdad porque modifican un verbo eso es lo que ellos hacen modifican un verbo eh, este es el primero verdad esto es después siguiente después de esto y finalmente verdad entonces después de cada uno de ellos si ustedes se fijan tenemos una coma entonces cuando usted los tenga va a tener una coma y después de esa coma viene el verbo verdad el verbo de qué manera el verbo va a ir a su forma infinitiva verdad o su forma base si usted lo quiere ver así Acá en este caso lo vemos con recetas, ¿verdad? We are seeing with recipes. But it's not only with recipes that you can use. You might describe a procedure at your job, right? Usted puede describir un procedimiento de su trabajo. You might describe a procedure uh, to follow with a mathematic operation. Puede describir un procedimiento que seguir con una operación matemática, ¿verdad? Entonces, eso depende para qué usted lo quiere ocupar. Y de qué va a depender de los verbos que usted ponga al principio, ¿verdad? De cada uno de ellos. Entonces, these are the sequence adverbs, right? And what they do is that they describe a sequence of a procedure. Ellos describen la secuencia de un procedimiento, ¿verdad? Is there any questions so far on here? ¿Hay alguna pregunta? No. Is there any question? No. 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 All right. So yes. The sequence is is if you you can change, but uh, the first and the finally uh, no change. Okay. The the second three uh, two uh, four. Can, can change, okay, or not? Oh, uh, you mean that you can put next and then after that. Um, yes. Exactly, being honest with you, they do not mix a lot, right? Um, you can use them. Sometimes they say next and they go with, after the next, right, we can have next then, and once again next and so on, but they don't mix uh, a lot, right? They don't do it like a kind of that. In the caso de los adverbios de frecuencia, verdad, no se pueden mezclar, sí. A veces hay personas que le dicen then, ocupan next y luego regresan al then otra vez, verdad? Eh, sí, eh, de alguna manera como que Podría decir el orden de los factores no le va a alterar el producto, ¿verdad? Al final, pero en realidad por ser secuencias casi no se mueven. Se agregan, sí, porque pueden agregarle. En alguno de estos probablemente van a encontrar secondly, first, secondly, thirdly, then, next, after that, and finally. Puede que los encuentren así también. Um, let me just uh, do it here for... Donde tengo un documento aquí. So in the sequences, uh, there are some books that do this. They give you the first, secondly, thirdly, uh, then next. Um, they say after that. After that, and they go with finally, right? This is, I, there is uh, some books that you might be able to find this, right? First, secondly, uh, then, right? Next, after that, and finally, if you need to add more. Si en el caso usted necesitará agregar más, pero en realidad casi no, en un procedimiento tal cual no hay mezcla, dígame. Teacher, quizás agregando en eh, in, in section number four, la number, number 4.5, now we will check. 
And the number four is which sequences a verb are not inter interchangeable. Uh, for example, uh, I have not finished because I don't understand. It's it, and first, next, finally, after that, and then. In the answer, and the answer is which sequence Albert are not inter, inter, interchangeable. Interchangeable. It's mm -hmm. uh, the last exercise, right? Yes. It's the último ejercicio. Veamos. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna pull it out my virtual platform and give me just uh, one second to check. Let's verify. Oh my God. Okay. Let's see. Aquí estamos. Veamos entonces. Esta vez. Ya estoy choca. Lo siento. I'm sorry, I'm getting blind. What yeah. happened, teacher? <laughs> no, what happened is that um, at the end of the day, right, uh, you feel your eyes, right, a little bit tired. And sometimes I need to get a little bit close to see where exactly is the, the, <laughs> <laughs> the image that I'm going to be sharing. Yeah, I work with two monitors, right? So I have one monitor here and I have one monitor here, right? One in my left hand and one in my right hand. And I do use both of them. So I'm being like, like this, right? The whole day, just looking at here, looking at here and so on. But anyways, right? Let's see. Uh, well, here we have well, the number four. Tell me. Yes? Uh, uh, this, this uh, number four, which we can do ever not in Tershima. I don't understand which the sequence other is. Yes, uh, there are mm -hmm. sequence adverbs that are, cannot be like in the organized, right? Let's say like that. They will be always in the same place, no matter what. So the ones that are always and always in the same place are first and finally, right? So the first and the final step they cannot be one finally this and first there, yes. Mm -hmm. They cannot change the order, right? The other ones, as uh, Milton was asking the question, can you have a uh, first then and then you can have next or you can have next first and then after that and then once again, right? Yes, you can. It's not so common, but you can. The only ones that you cannot change are these ones, right? Okay. En el caso de la pregunta eh, suya, Gerardo, y la de Milton, sí, en lo que es eh, en la de Milton, ¿verdad? Sí podemos cambiarlos. En lo que son los que están en medio, ¿verdad? Por decirlo uh -huh. así, eso sí se pueden cambiar. No es tan común porque va como que las cosas van en un orden indicado, pero sí se puede. Usted puede tener primero next y después puede tener then y de nueva cuenta puede tener next. Entonces no pasa nada. Pero los únicos que definitivamente no hay manera de cambiar es el primer paso y el paso final, ¿verdad? Okay. Esos dos se quedan a donde están. Entonces, esos serían los únicos. Ok, thank you, Tisha. You are welcome. Someone else, any other question that you might have? Teacher. Tell me. Hi. Um, pronunciation, teacher, um... Interchum, interchum, la frase, teacher. La frase, in yes. interchangeables. 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 Yes. Interchangeable. Yep. Someone else, any other question? that you might have, or no question? No, mm -hmm. no. Okay, so if there are no questions, let's go back on the presentation. Well, we are not gonna go back on the presentation, right? But uh, just we are going to do something. Ready to cook? Listos para cocinar? Yes. Yes, <laughs> all right. Yes. So we are gonna be in groups, right? 
I, I hate cooking, teacher. You hate cooking, but today you are yes. going to cook. <laughs> yes. So it's, let's better, it's better to buy. It's better to eat only. <laughs> Just eat fry, it. Fry, fry egg and like tomato. Eggs. And to with tomato. <laughs> I love oh my revuelto, teacher. Revuelto. Oh, revuelto. Scramble. Scramble eggs. Scramble eggs. Yes, scramble eggs. Okay. <laughs> I see that you are lazy, huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so let's see, right? Um, we are going to sure. cook, right? Just tell me. Eh, tortear. <laughs> Normal. Torta tortear. <laughs> eso, eso. <laughs> In the Echar Spanish. tortilla. <laughs> clap, 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 tortillas. Clap, 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 no, I <laughs> Clap the tortilla. Clap the tortilla. <laughs> and they, they will be the, the person right doing this. <laughs> Clapping to the tortilla. <laughs> Waiting that it could be good. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> okay, so let's see. We are going to be in groups, right? Um, I would like you that you can prepare let's say like a sandwich, right? Using the adverse of frequency mm -hmm. and I will be listening in each of the groups, right? That you can describe it to me the procedure on how to make, for example, a sandwich, right? You can do a hamburger, you can do chicken, whatever you want to, right? Something that it will be simple for you, but I would like you that you can create the, the recipe using the sequency adverse. ¿Qué van a hacer, verdad? Vamos a entrar en los breakup rooms. Les voy a solicitar que hagan una receta, ya sea de un sándwich, de una hamburguesa o de pollo, ¿verdad? De lo que ustedes quieran eh, verdad hablar, pero utilicen los adverbios de frecuencia, ¿verdad? El main point es que hagan una recipe utilizando los adverbios de frecuencia, ¿sí? ¿También? Yes. Sí, sí, sí. All right, so let's see. I'm going to create the rooms at the moment. You are nine, so it means that there will be a trio, right? Va a haber un trio. Vamos a ver. Go ahead and get into the groups. Oh, no, you are nine with me. Entonces, no, son nueve conmigo. Entonces, van a estar de dos en dos. Let's see. There you go. The rooms are open. Okay. You may go and start getting in.
after that let me see after that roll up roll up the social with the tortilla or huh? with the tortilla with cheese american cheese a little bit of mayonnaise a little bit of ketchup and a little bit little, little bit uh, and say a pisquita <laughs> a little bit the mustache uh, roll it up mustache 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 okay uh -huh. and after that this put in the pan with a little bit of butter fry a, a little cup of milk and finally it's ready to eat it's a very 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 uh, recent easy for children all the weekend really yes. uh, it's, it's a recent teacher is the, the receipt is chili panes Choripan is recipe. Yes, <laughs> go and buy like, one for a dollar. <laughs> it, 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 no, no, choripan is is the sausage with the with the the sausage 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 with, with tortilla, mm -hmm. roll up uh, roll up with cheese, uh -huh, oh. with cheese, little bit of mayonnaise, a little bit of ketchup, and a little bit of mustache. Mustard. 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 Yes. Mustard. Sorry. Mustard. Yes. Uh, and then uh, and then that put in the pan a little bit of butter, fry, and finally it's ready to eat for for my children. For your children. <laughs> it, it's the very Something easy. easy. Uh -huh. it's the, it's the, the, it's the easiest meal. way, right? It's the it it middle is meal it is easy for the weekend. Yes, the easiest way to get out from yeah. the problem in the it, weekend, it, right? It, it's not same as a hot dog for the popular cherry pan. It's, oh. a, a, it's another recipe. It's another thing, right? It's a different, <laughs> a different yes. receipt from the cherry pans, the regular cherry pans. Okay. Yes, yes. <laughs> good. <laughs> because Milton dice, I hate the cooking. He said, oh yes, he said that he hates cooking, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. Yes, but now he would have to cook something for us, right? <laughs> because I, I, I live, I live alone. And you then, live alone? Okay. Yes. On, yes. Only, only eat maruchan. He Sometimes, only eats maruchan. Okay. Uh, but I, I don't know uh, the maruchan uh, to do is is instant instant. Uh, what's instant that? Film. Instant film. Instant film. Food. Yes. Yes. Only sometimes I'm cooking. Uh, I cooking uh, a, a scramble. A scramble eggs. A scramble, a scramble eggs. Okay. okay. In, the, in the field, I I put the oil teacher oil aceite. Yes, the oil. Uh -huh. The oil or butter. Okay. Or butter, butter in the in the pan. Okay. Okay. Okay, uh, next, mm -hmm. um, I'll uh, uh, do this, the, the cebolla is onion. Onion, onion do the okay. onion, onion okay. and salt. Okay. Uh, then uh, put the egg. <laughs> okay. Uh, Two, two L, two L. Two X, okay. Only two L, only two L, yeah. Only two, all that, right. That is a, a mix. And then you start mixing them up, okay. It, oh, oh, okay, uh, uh, one moment, one moment. It is okay. tomato, tomato, tomato. As well, tomato, okay. Yes, tomato. Green and pepper, green pepper. Okay. What? Green After pepper? That, did you put a green pepper? Mm, no, no, I I don't like it. Okay. I don't like it. <laughs> All right. Uh, onion is a uh, sometimes uh, sometime. only okay. dot or onion in rodajas. Okay. Slice. Yeah. Just slice. Uh huh. Just slice the onion. Yes. yes. Finally, ooh, it's a good, <laughs> a good, it's, 
<laughs> the scramble eggs, with okay. A, with a, I do uh, eat it with a bread. You eat it with bread, okay. With bread, yes, with a, with a juice. It is a good dinner, <laughs> teacher. Delicious for me. Okay. <laughs> because because I like, but, I like to but I normally, like to cook. But yeah. normally uh, I eat uh, uh, pupusas. <laughs> oh, you normally eat pupusas, okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's something that is already done. <laughs> All right. Do so you, that's do, wonderful. Do, do you know I hate, hate pupusas at, at the morning? In the morning? I, and now I don't like it. You hate it. Because I, yes. I, 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 yes, I, I am. I like to cook. The, on the weekend, I made the pudding. Oh. Uh -huh, pudding. Uh, make the the uh, the dinner make the breakfast uh, i like to cook you like to cook okay yes. all right <laughs> that's wonderful the other side right the opposite of filters. Yes, the opposite yes, teacher sometimes yes. sometimes i i go to to eat uh, the food Chinese. Oh, Chinese food. Okay. The Chinese food is okay. is uh, this this kind. The food have a uh, a much um, ingredients. Oh, many ingredients. Many, yes, many. Got many okay, ingredients. Okay, it count. It's count. Okay, it's many yes. ingredients. Yes. But it's daily, daily, daily use. Yes, it's I, delicious. I like, I like it. <laughs> you like it, all right. Yeah. So. Because only the, the cooking, only the scramble egg is in hot, hot water. water. In like hot water. In hot water. <laughs> <laughs> For the coffee. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so continue practicing. I would like to hear your other classmates, right? Good job. <laughs> Pero eso sería, Entonces, eso serían los ingredientes, pero los ingredientes hacer la, la receta ya. Sí. Lo que ella dijo que íbamos a utilizar. El chicken bread rising, el de chicken loy, loyves, tomate, tomate. Tomate for sauce, tomate para la salsa. Son los ingredientes ya para echar. Ahí tenemos la, eh, la salsa. Para se echar los panes. Entonces, tenemos que tener tomate. Yo creo que en inglés, tomate, tomato, algo así. Tomato. Tomato es. Yes. Ok. El, el, el for el sauce, aquí sería lo que la salsa, ¿verdad? The sauce. That one it will be sauce. 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 Yes. Tomato sauce. Yes. Teacher, yeah. eh, lo que te debo preocupar es el, el eh, first en eh, after time, and then. Eso es lo que tenemos que ocupar. Sí, correcto. Okay. Eso es lo que hay que ocupar. Sí. Uh -huh. Bueno, entonces, first we need to cook the chicken. Um, how do you say liquor? Liquor. That one it will be mix as well. Mix. Ah, mix. Yes. Uh -huh. Mix. Mix. And we we need to put the the chicken in the oven for twenty minutes. And after that, we we need to to make the sauce. And then, um, I don't know, maybe, ayuda ahí el compañero que podemos hacer después. It's a chicken with tomato sauce. That's what you It's like a, to do. A chicken breast. Oh, chicken breast. Uh -huh. Chicken breast, este pechuga de pollo, son. 
El chicken brand que no es eh, eh, no. no es receta de pan de gallina, algo así. El chicken, el chicken bread rising. Rising. Oh, chicken I'm bread. okay. So, well, to be honest with you, I haven't heard anything like that, right? That chicken, chicken bread, right? Eh, chicken pan bread. de pollo. O quieren hacer los los famosos panes con pollo. Yes. Eh, yes. yes. Ah, yes. okay. But if you tell me chicken bread, uh, it's like the bread is made out of ch chicken, right? Si ustedes me dicen el chicken bread, es como que si el pollo estuviera hecho literalmente de, de carne, de la, de la comida del pollo, ¿verdad? De, 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 el, 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 perdón, el pan estaría hecho de la comida del pollo. Entonces, um, eso como ya es algo de nosotros, ¿verdad? Muy propio que algo que comemos nosotros, como los panes migueleños, entonces pueden decir yo uh, pan con pollo, right? De pan con pollo. So, first... Uh, Aunque sea de... de, de y, la, y cuando se dice gallina, teacher, no es lo mismo decir el chicken bread. Es como que mm. pollo o... Porque ahí pollo y gallina, ¿verdad? Sí. Eh, lo que sucede es en este caso que, verdad, para hacer una traducción inglesa no la hay, sino que mm. eso es algo bastante propio eh, de nuestra idiosincrasia, verdad, como salvadoreños. Sí. Entonces, este, no hay una traducción para ese nombre propio. Entonces, eh, usted lo que puede hacer es que le puede decir panes de gallina india y el eh, verdad la persona el americano le va a decir cómo es eso ah look this pan this bread is different because you, instead of having a chicken you got a hen por ejemplo en lugar de tener un pollo tienes una gallina right mm -hmm. so and you made this and this and this to prepare it right usted llama la la cuestión o el alimento por su nombre propio sin hacerle ningún cambio al inglés, lo único que usted hace el cambio es en decirle a la persona qué es lo que lleva, ¿verdad? Ahí sí, usted en lugar de decirle chicken, le dice hen, que es la gallina, ¿verdad? Entonces ahí sí. hacemos la diferencia. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí. Ya horneado, ya, eh, pero ahí ya tiene que ir horneado ya o cocido. Hay que decir eh, el hen o la gallina. El gen, ajá, sí, Bien. exacto, este, la cocción, ¿verdad? Que cómo se hace, eso usted lo decide, ¿verdad? Eh, you prepare the hen, you place this and these ingredients on it. En realidad yo nunca he cocinado una gallina, ¿verdad? Yo siempre, siempre he cocinado el pollo del súper. Entonces, este, usted le dice, ¿verdad? El procedimiento que lleva solamente de la cocción, las especies o los ingredientes que le pone. Entonces, eso es lo único que cambia. Pero el nombre propio de la, del alimento, ¿verdad? En el caso de, de cosas que nosotros tenemos acá en nuestro país, eso no cambia. Eso no, no se puede cambiar, ¿verdad? Es un nombre propio que no se puede cambiar. Ya, y dentro de los ingredientes, teacher, el cobaje es el repollo. Así se pronuncia, el repollo. Cobaje. El repollo. Um, ese es el cabbage. El pollo. Si no me equivoco, es cabbage. Cabbage. Ah. Yes. Es el cabbage. El so curtido en... sí es tinding, ¿verdad? El curtido, eh, bueno, ahí depende cómo sea, cómo sea puesto, ¿verdad? Porque los encurtidos es otra situación que como son como mm, es, cuestiones es. fermentadas, sí. este, llevan otra cosa. Okay. Es que igual los asiáticos que, que son las especies que nosotros aquí le colocamos para que déle sabor el pan, ¿verdad? Exactamente, la preparación. sí. Uh -huh. Exactamente. Okay. So, ya voy a cerrar los break up room, chicos. Les voy a dar oportunidad el día lunes para que lo hagamos porque ya son las nueve. Es cierto. Gracias, chito. Ya saben. Bye. Bye for now, right? Ya nos vemos en el main room. Ok. Yes. All right, let's wait for the other ones to come and join to the 
to the main room. It's already night one, right? Um, it's almost done. We are almost done with the class. So let's see. <clears throat> 30 seconds more. Okay. So since today is the last class of the week, right? Uh, we will see us on Monday. And on Monday, I'll give you the opportunity, right, to share the recipes that you were talking, right, with your partner. All of the recipes, the scramble eggs, uh, the panes con pollo, right, the rice with chicken and everything. So I... Teacher, ya íbamos a hacer un restaurante nosotros ahí. No, pues sí. <laughs> <laughs> Emprendedorismo. <laughs> it's, it's all right. That's wonderful. So I hope that you enjoy uh, today's class, that you have the opportunity to talk with your partner, right? And for me, it's uh, all for today. If you have any question, hit me up on the WhatsApp group. I'll be there during the weekend and tomorrow as well. Rest and relax. Have a wonderful night and a wonderful weekend. Okay. Take tomorrow, care. Teacher. tomorrow, teacher. Next Monday. Take care, teacher. Yes. Uh. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, rest and relax. I'm always saying tomorrow, right? Because tomorrow I'm still working, right? In my case. Okay? But, but, if, well, if, right? but if you can, no problem. <laughs> I am hungry, teacher. <laughs> Si, si, si nosotros queremos, no, entramos a la conferencia. <laughs> ok, teacher. No me engañes. Bye, teacher. 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 Bye, teacher.